This is the THL W100 um, Super 3G smartphone. Um, we're talking a Android Jelly Bean 4.2 quad core 1.2 gigahertz uh, handset with um, WCDMA 4.5 inch screen, um, an 8 megapixel camera, um, and all the goodies you'd expect Bluetooth, GPS, uh, Wi Fi, etc. Um, the astonishing thing about this is the price. Um, it's coming in at about $169, which makes it a real killer price for the specifications. Um, as with all THL products, it's um, quite solidly built, um, at least as well as, as the mainstream. Uh, comes with two 1800 milliamp hour batteries, twin SIM, and a SD card slot here, which will only take up to 32 giga gigabytes, mind you. Um, uh, so, and at the top here, we can see the power button, micro USB charger, and the 3.5 for the headphone. Very neat, some nice sensors on the front, volume switch, nothing else anywhere else. So it's quite clean, um, soft keys at the bottom. So to switch it on. And we'll see that once it's booted, it's quite a quick boot. Um, you can tell the company's serious when they have a little jingle, can't you? Technology happy life. There you go. Nice little home screen and a, a really nice screen. The, they've, they, the, the price um, comes about, well, probably because they're just being basically very aggressive about their, um, their, uh, their marketing, but also, you know, they've, they've, cut down things like, um, compared to some of their other high-end smartphones, things like the screen resolution, um, and also the RAM. Oh, this have a, has a gigabyte of RAM. Um, in operation, it's really nice. Uh, the whole thing is very crisp. Um, the screen is beautifully responsive. I mean, probably one of the best of the of these type I've ever uh, come across. Um, and it's fast, as you'd expect with a quad-core. You know, it's 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 not uh, a slow sluggard at all. Um, things like uh, making your way through websites is is a cinch, um, and Google Maps. I mean, they've cleared up all the problems with the GPS we we talked about in the last iteration of the the last phone we covered from THL, which was the, the W five. Um, th this new uh, model really syncs quickly, it's, it's accurate, um, and the navigation works flawlessly. So it's a whole new ball game really um, in terms of, uh, in terms of the, the, the functionality and the feature set because there's, there's nothing we can say that this doesn't do um, that uh, it should do really. Um, the camera, as you'd expect, I mean, it's, you know, these kind of, um, I mean, it's eight megapixels. There, there isn't a 12 meg, uh, megapixel, um, uh, funk mode, but, you know, rather like digital zoom, don't bother using it. Um, it's not that much of it. It's no improvement at all. In fact, you have, a uh, some nice, um, camera, um, options like HDR, um, a nice panorama, um, set of panorama settings. I mean, it's all based around the MediaTek um, chipset, so you'd expect to find this on all these um, on all these smartphones um, using the same chipset. Um, but what impresses us about this? I mean, the battery life. Um, we've had this now, and it's 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 easily running a day. So you know, the the there's no real problem with with that. Um, but what's impressing us with, with these kind of products now is is that they're just so complete. You know, this is this is if I show you, this is running. You know. An almost stock um, uh, Android 4.2.1, which puts it bang up to date. You know, ahead of ahead of a lot of a lot of uh, phones, branded phones, which um, which should be 
you know, up here, but aren't, but are still lurking back in the in the earlier Android versions. Um, and everything's nice. Again, with the thing we love, this is the Twim Sim um, management system. Um, so it's it's a really efficient way of, of um, handling or managing the two SIMs. So you can allocate data and, and calls to one or do whichever way you want to do it. Um, have a, a foreign <clears throat> foreign SIM or a, a domestic SIM. There's just a, a, a bunch of really nice features about this. Um, the looks, I mean, it's 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 plastic, but it's you know again, remember the price, you know, um, compared to seven hundred dollars or or more for a, 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 an S a S four. You know, speaking of which, you know, let's have a look. There's an S four. You know, seven hundred dollars versus one hundred sixty nine. Um, okay, so. The the benchmark specs on the S4 blow this blow the THL away, but there again, you know, does it blow it away seven times, you know, five times, or have a fourth times as much? Um, and that's the question you've got to ask if you're out there shopping. Um, you can probably tell we're really impressed with this uh, W100. It's it's really um, a stonking handset, um, and the only caveat we have with them is is we'd like to see a more um, official uh, Android upgrade path. Now, so saying, you know, most of the branded um, products also have much of a, a choppy um, upgrade path for Android. So it, it's nothing um, that uh, the others aren't doing at the same time. But you know, really, all of these all all of these smartphones now should start getting their act together. I know it's it's partly Android's fault or Google's fault, whoever you're going to blame. But anyway, um, it would be nice to see some sort of coordination across all the all the handsets. There you go, the THL W100. Very nice indeed.